Hello, YouTubers. Hello, subscribers. Thank you so much for um, coming to my channel. I appreciate um, your um, feedback, your comments and everything, your love and all of that good stuff. Um, yes, I did get my nails done. Fix the ring. It's dirty. And so here is a flower. Some little, and then this is supposed to be some type of crown. I don't know what that is. And some more flowers. And she does that like herself. Like she takes some stuff and she smashes. I don't know what she does. She's really good. But anyway, and I believe that's a crown too. And so those are my beautiful nails. And I wasn't able to get, because I wanted it all UK. Like flags and the street, like everything UK. And unfortunately, I didn't do that. And, and I was thinking about doing red and blue because um, I feel like the UK uses a lot of colors and with their invitations, it's so beautiful. Anyway, thank you for your support. Thank you for your love, all of you. I wish I could go get a list of your names and just run them through. But I'm going to start giving shout outs to a lot more of you. Thank you for the new subscribers as well. And there's so much. I love you guys so much. It's just so awesome that I can have friends from everywhere and have a conversation and actually start getting to know you guys on a personal level. So thank you. I only have two topics today. Me and little bit and daddy are going to... We're going to go out and get something to eat, and hopefully a little bit has a good time. She's been grouchy today, but we'll see. Someone said something, very, and I hate to say someone. One of my lovely subscribers told me that, um, that I was going to be a good mom. It really meant a lot to me because I don't feel it. I'm so nervous all the time. I'm running and jittery. I wonder, does younger parents feel that way? Like, oh my God, I would have... I see the difference in having a baby earlier versus later in life. And, you know, it's, it just depends. <laughs> Let's get started. Megan Marco. Let's start off with her becoming. So let's, let's start here. So Megan decides that, okay, she's at Suits. They finna end her stuff. She hasn't married a rich man. She's not making the money that she wants to make. So she needs to do something different. And it reminds me of the different stages we have seen her in. When she starts to get ready to reinvent herself, to start something new, she comes out with like a uh, photo shoot, a new spread. Look at me. I have something to say. I'm telling my side of the story. This is where we live now in Montecito and all of that. So Megan has already started her brand. It just doesn't exist. Because when she did start her brand, she trashed the royal family. And that's not a brand. And they are going to have to stop or their reputation will continue to falter. If anything, this PR team is on the up and up, then I'm assuming that they haven't started yet because she's still up to her shenanigans. Because everything is always about her. It really is. Like, it's official. <laughs> so after suits and stuff, she decides, okay, you know, I got to do something. So she hunts out Mary, Harry and she brainwashes him and end up marrying him. But while she's over there, she knows that she can't do it. Obviously, obviously, the queen knew Megan was not happy doing world work. Because according to, according to sources, the queen encouraged her to do her acting, to do what she wanted to do. If she didn't, then why did she come out with that book, that cookbook thing? You know, Megan was doing something and trying to make her mark as a royal, but I don't, I think that, I don't believe that. Shut up. I didn't say that. I said it, but I didn't mean it that way. What I meant was, I'm not even going to repeat it. Anyway, the queen gave her, said, go, go, do what you want to do. And so the cookbook thing wasn't enough and it was never going to be enough. I don't care what you say. She was leaving. It was always getting to Hollywood. But it's the way that she gets to Hollywood that's just so sinister. 
because she grab a prince, okay? Then she marries him, okay? And then she starts trouble. She's got to get out of there. How does she get out of there? She has to say, she has to say, something's going on with me physically and mentally and emotionally. I can't take it here anymore, Harry. I don't want to live here anymore, Harry. I'm going to kill myself, Harry. I'm lonely. I don't like this life. So she feeds that up to him and then Harry starts blaming himself for all her, for, he starts blaming himself because his wife isn't happy. And when you start blaming yourself, you take the grunt on that that person doesn't have anymore and you start feeling that person's stuff because they're feeding it to you. If Megan is feeding him stuff such as, I'm lonely, I'm suicidal, I don't want to be here. That's heavy on his heart to think if anything ever happens to her, then it's his fault. So everything is Harry's fault right now. The book, Netflix, Oprah, all of that. It's all Harry's fault. And that's why the relationship is in the toilet. And also, too, she can't get what she wants from the king. She blames that on him, too. And I also believe this new newness is to let the royals know that you're not holding me down. I'm going to get myself together. You've been getting yourself together since you've been over here, but nothing's sticky. She has no brand. She has nothing to stick. She has nothing. And number one is nobody wants to take anything or receive anything from a person that's nasty and disgusting. And that's all that she is. There is nothing good about her. So I wonder if the PR team is going to be able to fix what's inside. Because you can mask it all you want to. But the cracks are starting to show. Like my pool pump. It's broke. And all this stuff. It was going to cost us a couple of hundreds. Now it's going to cost us a thousand. That's me. She cost. I believe she's costing people a lot of pain and agony. But let's move on. It's broke. It doesn't work. You can't fix it. You got to reinvent it. You got to buy a new one. So Megan's trying to create a newness in herself. But she's got to get inside first. Because if you don't fix this, then all of this won't show and we won't see it. We will keep seeing you being this two-year-old spoiled brat whining and crying about what you can't get. From the royal family is if they owed you anything. You owe them an apology. Moving on. So Megan's done with suits. She's married Harry. Harry, I'm ready to go. I've already lined up our deals because I got the celebrities over here for the wedding. Now it's time to go. It was never about a love story. It was never about how two people met and fell in love and, and helped the kingdom. And help the British people and, and do all this. Like like Michelle Obama said, she already knew way before when she mentioned this. She says, um, a life of service is, is hard. And so instead of saying anything about Megan, she just was letting us know that it's not for everyone. And this is not going to be for Megan. And it's not for her. She didn't say it was a bad or a good thing, but she's just letting us know that this woman is not about a life of service, influencer, and all of that other stuff that she's about to get a stupid award for. And all at the same time, we're going to see a movie. And speaking of that movie, I will get to that. But I want to set the scene. Because it, it, this is going to show you, and we've already know how Megan has always been on self have always been on me, 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 and nothing lines up unless it's about her, even down to the coordination. She's not going because she's not on the front pew. It has nothing to do with Archie having a part in the program. It's her being seen. If I can't be seen, then I don't want to be a part of it. What, what, what purpose is it in for me if I, you can't see me? And just because I'm on the side or in the back doesn't mean you can really see me. I want to be the star of the show. I just found out two days ago that, and, and I don't know why I haven't, but you have never even, I don't think I've said it, that Megan wants to be the star. She wants to walk on the red carpet first. She wants to be the queen. She wants to be the president. She wants to be Catherine. She wants to be, she wants to be, I think I know, yeah, I said it because I remember doing this. It's not enough. So 
It's never going to be enough for Megan because she's going to keep pushing and pushing. And now she's doing something new. Every year since she's been here, she's been doing something new. And there's nothing wrong with ambition. But you became... Mm -mm, mm -mm. You, mm -mm, let me get there. So she do the suits thing. She marries Harry. Then she convinces him that uh, she doesn't want to live here anymore. She wants to come to the United States. And ever since she's been over here, she's done two things. She's bashed the royal family and her own in the country. And then she's been trying to invent herself for everybody to see the queen of Montecito. But we have, are yet to see anything substantial or good or valuable or anything come from her mouth or come from her other than the royal family is racist. And so after she got here and she did the Netflix, then she did the, remember the, remember her and Harry was um, on the magazine and they were, uh, I think it was vanity or whatever. GQ, one of them. <laughs> GQ, I don't think it was GQ. That she was his, you know, like, I'm, we're, we're here. We're the boss. We're, we're the boss couple. Okay? That was supposed to be her new. Then we went to, she was by herself on the bench kicking up. Ooh, look at me in that little flowery dress. I think this was for the one of, one of the magazines, okay? Woo! So she's, woo, she was by herself then. She was letting, her, letting us know now that Harry ain't going to be a part of this stuff. Harry hasn't been a part for a long time. Harry was only in there for her to do this. She needed him to become. And now that she's become, I don't think she's made it. I think she's having a very difficult time getting this off the ground. And I don't think she has talent. I don't. I think that she has good qualities in places, but I don't think she has the talent that she needs to be in Hollywood to become this everything that she's always wanted to do since she was a little girl. And she does now have the opportunity to become all those things because the royal family has given her that has allowed her to have those those things because she is now part of the royal dynasty. And so since she is, it made a name for herself. Not because she was on Suits, Megan. Just because you was on Suits, baby doll. Nobody knew who you were. And then you were, you were an unknown actress. And she knows that. But what's interesting about this story, because it sounds like a repeat, but it's not. Is that how she's been trying to reinvent herself since she's been in the United States. And how she used Harry to get over here because she couldn't go to Montecito until after she married Harry because nobody, Oprah didn't know her. They wasn't friends then. They only became friends when she started, when she married Harry. Now, Oprah's the god mom. And Tyler Perry's the god dad. They got a happy little celebrity family over there. My question to this new PR team is, how in the world are you going to reinvent, reinvent this woman that we have watched for the last four years trash the royal family and rebrand herself a billion times going to do it this time? Not that she hasn't been making money. Moving on. Just wanted to talk about that. I really didn't get the emphasis out about really how I wanted to do it. But I talk about it so much that I don't want to keep talking about the whole scenario of how she got here. My point of that story was, is that Megan has been reinventing herself every year, all the time. And nothing is working. Nothing is sticking. And it has nothing. It's not based on what she's doing. Is based on who she is in here. In here. Because why would I go and listen to you speak at a function when this is corroded? Let's talk about the corrosion. Her father is coming on tomorrow. Okay? 
his show. I don't know if I have Spotlight. Spotlight. And so I'm trying to look it up and find it and figure it out. If you guys have a link to it, please let me know. <laughs> Mary, Mary, Megan married Harry. I'm going back now. I'm digressing because I wrote something down. Megan married Harry for what he can offer her, her stardom, her brand. He became her brand. We talked about that. And now that she's trying her best to become the Montecito queen, she wants to be the rose of Montecito, the rose of the United States. She wants to be the queen over here. But unfortunately, she hasn't been able to accomplish that because of the trash and the lying. And we're going to get on how she treats her dad in a minute because that show is coming on. But I was just talking about that. Moving on. But Megan is strategic. She has her list. She has her list. And now that her now that she's grabbed the guy, left UK, and over here, she's done her Netflix and all her regular stuff. And now someone's now she's now it's me again. And so, all Megan has been doing since she left the UK is trying to reinvent herself, create something, be something. She's been trying to do that since, she, since forever. And now that she has a real opportunity to do that, she's failing at it to me. She is failing at it to me because she failed to read the room that nobody wants to hear her call the royal family racist. Excuse me. No one wants to hear her lie about calling the royal family racist. And now she wants to be an influencer. And she's getting all these awards. Don't forget about the award she's getting. How is she going to get an award? And her daddy's on TV talking about, daughter, can you call me? Hello? You know, word on the street is, is maybe she, maybe they shouldn't have came out with the video right now with the coordination. Why wouldn't they? Listen, the Marcos don't know the Royals. They didn't get a phone call from, from Charles and them and saying, come on down to the wedding. Are we going to look, screw what Megan's saying, get on in the car and let's go. But why would they do that? They were going off of Megan's vibes and what she was telling them and so you couldn't help but to think that she wanted us to believe remember the docuseries that it was the royals that didn't want to invite her family because of how it would look they were not classless and she tries to slip that in because she blames everything on them when she was over there it, it's they it's their fault that her kin folks didn't make it to the wedding <laughs> i forgot my point Let me move on because I didn't forgot. So let me start here. Let me let me go here. Let me start with Megan's new life. And then I want to go down to the royal family is useless to her. They're useless. She got what she wanted when she married Harry. She got the global recognition. And she realized that she can make money from that. And she can't do it over there in the UK. She wasn't staying over there anyway. She, Megan has always wanted to be a Hollywood uh, uh, something. She never wanted to be in the UK. And so she got what she wanted from the, from the royal family. And she left. And she came over here doing her little trickery stuff. Okay, let me pause. Now I remember what I was talking about. Her insides. How was the PR team going to fix that? Good luck. I don't see it happening. Because if she's been over here all these years and been trying to reinvent herself, then why isn't she this royal, royal princess over here? Why aren't people talking highly about her? Why are people having her in the news calling her shallow and, and all of this stuff? And that Gail King thing? Oh, now I remember what I was talking about. 
I didn't like her comment. I felt like her comment was, you know, they're, they're having issues with the royal family. And Gail told us. She pretty much said, yeah, they know what's going on over there. All that other stuff is going on over there. Yeah, we do too. They ain't doing nothing to her. She's making it all up. She's fake. And so, keep being her friend. The movie. It's on the eve of the coronation. And I was saying that um, I don't believe the Marcos need to wait. I think it was nice. When I first heard it, I was like, wow, they going to do that on the coronation? Shouldn't they... Shouldn't they have did that after? And then I said, why? They don't live in the UK. They don't know the royal family. They don't have a personal connection to them. Their sister do. But she don't even own her, the family. Megan has kicked them to the curb. And so... There's no tides with the royal family, what Megan and Mark, Megan and, and, and the uh, royal family at all whatsoever. So my thought was, okay, it's no big deal if they have the have it the day before. And and I'm thinking in terms of it's a U.S. television show show, and it has it, it, it is around the coronation. But the Markles are not thinking about that. I'm sure they are, but not to the point where they need to stop living because of what's going on around them. And I just, yeah, I just felt like they, um, that them doing it on the eve of that was okay in my book. I didn't think it was distasteful because of the connection because they don't have any ties with the royal family because it's a split they have they don't have a relationship with the royal family the royal family doesn't have a relationship with them and she doesn't have a relationship they don't have a relationship with megan it's a separate entity to me it's just separate and i don't think samantha would have the the moment to say oh it's the coronation so let's don't do it on this day no, it's not going to stop anything. I am glad that she's doing it earlier. So, because right now in the news, Megan looks like the king didn't want her there, kind of sorted, even though he invited her. But how she's planning out with the leaking of the stuff and all that about the uh, unconscious bias, she's trying to let us know that there's still conflict, that there's still issues. And the reason why she doesn't want to go is because of all of that. And so, oh, she's the damsel in distress again. Poor Megan. They were going to boo her. They don't like her. You know, they treated her really bad and all this other stuff. And what I'm seeing is the Marcos hitting back at a time that they should. Because while she's running around doing her thing, her branding, her reinventing, and me, 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 me. Just like the Marcos, they are moving on with their lives, moving on with what's important to them and letting the world know that we are not the people that she says that we are. They're telling their truth, their story. Sorry for the. And so I think it's a good idea so we can see the truth. Hopefully we get some new information from this. Hopefully we get some, I'm, I'm sure we are, some, 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 some real good juicy. And so they're telling their truth. They're telling their story. They're letting us know that, uh-uh, something ain't right. And it's time for us to know that because Megan has all just been telling her story. Charles and Camilla and William and Kate cannot talk because it's, um, what is it? Uh, don't say nothing. You know, the, uh, quiet policy. I don't know it right now. A little bit. It's on my knee. So it's a, it's quiet. You do quiet, quiet. You keep quiet. Don't complain. Don't explain. That's the royal family. But the Marcos are not the royal family. And they can talk. And they can explain. And I think this is a good time to do it. Because Megan keeps pushing her. Who? Me. Me. Me, me, 
and trashing, trashing, trashing. So who is going to come say, the, the royal family ain't saying nothing, but the Marcos are, and they're sick of her. They're tired of her trashing them, treating them like dirt, treating them like they don't belong, treating them like she didn't, like she don't know them. Look at the new me, me, me. Look at the new me, me, me. I mean, she is me in it. Right up into the coordination. And so, we could almost say that they're taking a book out of Megan's page. I'm sure she's pissed off. I'm sure she's pissed off. Say hi. Say, come on, Mommy. Let's go bye-bye. Let's go bye-bye. Can I have a kiss? Oh, no kisses for the mama. Bye, guys. Have a lovely, lovely day. I hope you enjoyed my video. My two points were that um, we know, we, we already know this, that Megan married Harry for that one reason, to have a global status and to run over here and do what she's doing and can't get it off the ground. The second thing I was mentioning is that the Markles are coming out with their video, their movie tomorrow. And I'm hoping that we get some good juicy stuff because that's the next time I'll see you guys. And I'm going to deep dive and take notes. Let, I'm going to be looking for the link for it because I don't know where it is. Or I've never heard of that channel before. But I definitely want to, um, I'm going to deep dive that sucker. And we're going to learn some stuff. Kisses. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I know I've said that already. And um, let's get ready for the coordination.